$60 per diem. But the most important luxury is controlling their travel arrangements so that they can fly home between games. You don't have four guys laying on the floor anymore or, you know, two in bed and one in a cot. You're not traveling five guys in a car. You're not carrying your old bags anymore. That's, it seems to be one of, the, one of the things when you make it to the major leagues. That first hotel I walked into, one of my partners says, you're in the major leagues now, you don't carry your own bags. You give a guy a dollar to carry your bags now. Minor leagues, it was a dollar was a dollar, and you you kept that dollar. So the lifestyle in that regard has changed a little bit to where we have gone to a different level, without a doubt. What are you gonna do about your birthday party today, partner? I don't know. You gotta feel better for that. Even though Jim has yeah. reached his goal, he has to deal with being away from home. His family lives in Oregon. He calls them daily but he still has trouble explaining to his six-year-old son that daddy won't be home on his birthday. In fact, Jim's missed five of his son's birthdays. Too much playing with Aunt Da. Jim Joyce has been assigned to a crew of veteran umpires. Collectively, they have over 30 years experience in the big leagues. Even after 11 years of umpiring in this group, Jim is considered the rookie. There's only 64 people that do this job in the entire world. There's more senators than there are umpires. A lot of times we take it for granted, or I can see where I've taken it for granted already. I know I'm young and I've only got a few games under my belt, but I try to knock that out as fast as possible. I try to be level-headed about this. I've always said I'm not going to get a big league head. I've always told my wife, if I ever big league you, I want you to hit me in the head with a shovel. So I don't want to do that to people. That's not what this job's about. I like to think it takes a very strong person to be an umpire. <clears throat> Somebody that's going to be willing to sacrifice almost anything to get to the major leagues. I have people that are very close to me that say, do you realize how lucky you are? Absolutely, I know how lucky I am. How many people would like to trade places with me right now? They'll get in line to do it. I guarantee you, they will get in line to do my job. There's 100,000 eyes on you every night when you're working a baseball game. Your stress level naturally is there. You want to be right all the time. But if you kick a wide open play, which doesn't happen that often, very rarely does it happen. But it's that one time when 35,000, 45,000, or 55,000 people see that, and they know that you've messed up. That is the, by far the worst feeling there can be in the world. Your gut feeling is just, you feel about that tall. You don't think our stress level's that high. You think that this is a picnic. We've had two umpires in the last 15 months that died of heart attacks. The people here come to watch a baseball game and feel a baseball game. They still love to hate us. I'll take 35,000 people in one group in Fenway Park as compared to 1,100 people in Portland, Oregon. In Portland, Oregon, when, I was wor when I'm working there, say that they have a bad night and they only have 1,100 people in the crowd, I can almost hear every individual voice out there. I can hear everything they say when they, when they you know, the, the old thing, uh, kill the umpire, you're a bum, you're a cyclops. Every comment I can hear on the field. When I have 35,000 people in the stands in Fenway Park, all those voices merge and you don't, you, all you hear is the fans, uh, murmuring basically people come out here to relieve their frustrations and not only that I'm one of the most likely people that they're gonna relieve their frustrations on it's just the people that you love to hate it's we're the policemen of Major League Baseball I'm the very first American League umpire in the last five or six years to come to the big leagues it was worth 11 years, without a doubt. It was absolutely worth every day that I put in the game. The days that I felt bad, 
the days that I wanted to be home, the days that I've missed my son's birthday, it's all been worth it, without a doubt. Without a doubt, it has been absolutely worth it. sheltered in the harbor, and some would rather sail into life with the unmistakable scent of Old Spice. Clean, true, and classic, Old Spice, one of the legends of the sea. Shine a light on you, shine a light on me, keep your light shining for everyone to see. Shine a light on you, shine a light on me, keep your light shining for everyone to see. When you're looking good, you want Bud Light. The clean, fresh taste won't fill you up and never let you down. Spring and summer means getting outdoors to enjoy the beauty of our environment. Hi, I'm Martina Navratilova, a member and supporter of the Sierra Club. This summer, enjoy the environment without harming it. When traveling, don't leave garbage behind. And if you find someone else's, pick it up. Don't break tree limbs or pick flowers. The key is to leave the land the way you found it, or even better. For more information on what you can do, contact the Sierra Club. You can make a world of difference. The Braves and David Justice. The Dodgers and Daryl Strawberry. Another face-to-face -face battle for the NOS title as the pennant chase heats up. Live at 10.30 Eastern on ESPN Friday Night Baseball. You're watching ESPN, the Total Sports Network. On their last day in Jacksonville, the crew packs up and heads for the stadium. Following the game, they'll be driving all night to the next series in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I can honestly say that whether I ever get to the big leagues or not, this umpiring is gonna, it's gonna pay off in the end. Because uh, if nothing else, I would like to think, and maybe I'm not even thinking this, say the umpire doesn't pan out, that I could go in somewhere, drop a resume on somebody's desk, and show them that I was in professional baseball as an umpire. And that anybody with an open mind would be able to pick that piece of paper up, read it, and say, you know, here's a guy that's had to adapt. He's had to learn how to get along with people, and he's had to handle situations. But, uh... If it doesn't happen, well, it just doesn't happen, and I'll just uh, go get a job somewhere else, and maybe I'll move back home and let Mom and Daddy take care of me. And welcome back to Wolfson Park. Mark Hauser with Expos Baseball this early Sunday. Game after game, night after night, the pressure of the routine takes its toll. But the umpires take it all in stride, just part of the job, except for one thing. The manager comes up and said, You'll never make it to the majors because I'll keep you out. That's where it, spit in my face, kick me, pull a gun out. But don't tell me I'll never make it to the majors and boy do they use it. Today it's very unlikely that a manager can keep an umpire out of the big leagues. That decision is left to the umpire development staff and the Major League Baseball supervisors. No matter what, every single day you go out there, you have to work hard because as far as being seen by the supervisors, you know, you work uh, 144 ball games, you might not be seen by the supervisors, but for six games. And you never know when they're going to be there. Because sure enough, the night that you uh, decide, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to loaf a little bit tonight. I'm going to take this night off. Sure enough, there'll be a supervisor there. And, you know, you don't get many chances in a, in a career to, to, to make it to the big leagues. And I'd hate to blow it because one night I decided to loaf. You can do that. Yes, he can. Thank you. Barry's not coming in contact with his mouth. You can't like this. do it's that. Fine. Yes, he can. You can do it all right if he wants. No, I'm not. Jerry Meals is the crew chief, is the senior member of the crew. He's in his third year at the AA level and is making excellent progress. Hopefully you would think that by the end of the season that uh, Jerry would have accomplished everything here at this level and would be prepared for moving to wow. AAA. The other two members of the crew, uh, Fielding Culberth and Chris Jackson, have less right. experience. They're both in their first year here at the AA level. They're doing a you know, fine job at making good career progress, 
but they're looking at probably not only this season but another full season at this level and uh, before that they're prepared to go for, to the AAA level. Everything out of there, Chris? Yes, I checked twice. Not three? For Jerry, Chris, and Fielding, another series comes to an end. Tomorrow, a new one begins. Only 76 games are left in the season. Oh, God, to these wheels. Wheels on wheels. There's a saying in baseball now, it seems to be going around quite a bit, is that you gotta hang with them. You know, we gotta get rid of the coach. It's a tough life. Anybody that's lived a number of years in the minor leagues knows that it's a tough life. I've been there. I was there for 11 years. Um, you basically have to hang in there. You have to go out every night and do your job. You have to do it well, or you're not going to get here. Skip the dough. If I had any advice at all for minor league umpires, he has to perform every day like a supervisor's watching him. Because if you don't, somebody's gonna see you. And if you are not doing your job on the field, it's gonna get back to somebody. And it's gonna be tougher to get to the major leagues now. It's actually a fight. It's a fight against the fans, your partner, the league presidents, everybody out saying, I know the job is terrible, but I can do it. Sam Beckett stepped into the quantum leap accelerator.